Good morning. We're in a hotel here, and uh, that's not always the best coffee in the morning. They have automatic coffee makers, and somehow if you're starting your day off with meetings or just changing time zones, it's kind of nice to have a great tasting cup of coffee instead of something mediocre, and perhaps that greatness without having to leave your room to go hunt for the nearest compromise of a Starbucks or whatever else. So what you're seeing in the frame is an AeroPress, some other implements around that, as well as the kind folks of the hotel. You can ask them before you even get to the hotel to make sure there's an electric kettle for boiling water in your room. Um, the room usually has some water, or let's see, you can get some usually from the hotel gym. It's not bottled. Uh, get it. It's worth it in the U.S., especially where the taste of the water quality is not particularly even. Uh, in Europe, it's a different matter, um, but in North America, generally speaking, going for the filter step is probably a nice idea to get that full flavor. Um, so, what have we got here? Well, we've got an AeroPress coffee maker that I travel with. Also, instead of using paper filters for the AeroPress, I use um, an S filter by Caffeology. And I also travel with uh, a milk frother. This is about 12 ounce milk frother stainless steel, so you have something nice and solid to put onto um, your coffee press because in hotels usually you get a paper coffee thing and it's not so fantastic. Also what I've got is, uh, well why is it not so fantastic? Because if you try to squish your air press coffee onto this, it's not necessarily certain that that's going to go with you in a way that you'd like. Also this is a, a mini grinder by Prolex made in Japan. Um, you take your little AeroPress scoop, which is about 10 grams, um, and usually AeroPress takes about two of these shots. Pour this in. I've already done this this morning. But I'll, I'll give you a sense of what the sound of the grinder is like, so you know how really easy it is. It usually takes for 20 grams or two scoops, about 130, 140 turns, depending on what grind you've got it at. My coffee's going to get a little stronger. And you just keep going until you don't hear anything. Getting ground. How are we doing? Yep, that's done. Then pop this lovely device open. You have all this wonderful coffee down here. Pour it through the filter of the AeroPress into the funnel. And the next thing you have to wait for is the water. Cracked open. More than ample, or the hundred or so milliliters you usually want, or more easily fill up to the number two position on the AeroPress. This kind of coffee, well, the way for this to do its little thing, is almost espresso grind, but a little bigger. So it's about a sand level grind, is the way I've heard it described. That's kind of nice, actually. The other thing to have available is this little stir stick. So we'll saturate the grounds a little bit before we squish them. We're going to get them up to the level two. And we we'll right back when the coffee is hot. Okay, we've got some water. It's been boiled. It's taken off the boil. You let it sit off the boil. Um, I like mine at about 80 degrees, and if I'm checking baggage, I feel okay about traveling with a thermometer with a little pointy stick, but I haven't done that um, when doing carry-on, so I'm just kind of guesstimating about the water temperature here. Uh, why would you want to take a long thing that looks like a knitting needle uh, with an operational end? You know, who knows what, what security folks think of, um, or what they're asked to think about. But anyway, that I digress. I'm going to wing it the temperature of this uh, water. It makes a difference for the coffee grind. So again, we're looking to fill this up to about the number two, but first, this is a technique I saw on Tested. I'm just going to put enough water in here to wet the grounds, saturate them a little bit, and I should have said that that S filter that I travel with, as opposed to a paper filter, how's that going? Pretty good is a steel mesh rather than using paper. Uh, some people prefer the taste of the paper or some people prefer the mesh. 
Um, really, I just prefer how easy it is in terms of travel not to have to worry about a bunch of paper filters. Okay, so that looks pretty good and saturated. Now we're going to fill it to where it goes and stir it a little bit. So that's going up to the two. I wonder if coffee aficionados are going, oh my god, she's ruining it. I wish you could smell this, it's so fantastic. So there, we're going to let that sit for about 10 seconds. You see that the water's kind of going down here a little bit, and that's okay. There's a kind of a nice brown uh, crema sitting on top. That's kind of cool, makes you feel like, oh, that must be a good cup of coffee that's coming. It sat for about 10 seconds. Now we plonge. So that's completely not French. And perhaps from this, and the effort I'm putting into this, you can see why you wouldn't necessarily want to be doing this on the paper cup. And I'm going to stop pressing as soon as I hear the air sound happening. There we go. Air sound begins. Remove that. Nice thing is I can add water if I want. And you would say, where are you going to put that coffee since your room only has those paper cups? Uh, I could use a paper cup. Also, we could look very European and use the water glass here instead. Here's the coffee. It's not a lot, but cup of coffee. This is the kind of fun part right now. Yeah, it smells like a real coffee. Mm. Oh. oh. That's so nice. It doesn't really need more water, but because I'd like a bigger uh, cup of coffee potentially, I'm just going to see if I don't kill it by adding a little more water to it. Oh, that just made it a little smoother. That's really quite nice. So, there you go. That is your on-the-road mechanism for traveling with this. It's very light, doesn't take up much room in your bag. As I said, you can stick this into the funnel part. Uh, you've got a nice piece of kit that you can travel with and give yourself that delight of manual coffee making plus uh, really nice product at the end of it. Hope you enjoy your morning wherever you are, and we'll consider coffee made beautifully next time you're on the road.